Well, 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 5.45 p.m. means it's time for BCTV's nightly news roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. Let's take a look at what's coming up on deck tonight for this weekend edition. Rock and roll. We'll uh, start with uh, Governor Shumlin's tour of Rattleboro. He made several steps while he was down south here. Board's talking about some budget issues. That's all coming up. Apparently the world's going to end. I'll preview what we're doing all next week to gear up for that. All that and more. We're going to do it in 15 minutes or less. So make sure you stick with us right here on 545 Live. Hi, this is Barb Sunday, town manager of Brattleboro, Vermont. I'm here with my department heads and we all want to wish you a happy holiday season. I'm Gene Rim with the Brattleboro Police Department. Drink responsibly and designate the driver. I'm Mike Bacossi from the Brattleboro Fire Department. Make sure all your electrical decorations and extension cords are in good shape before you use them. Happy, happy holidays! holidays! Welcome back to this December 14th, 2012 weekend edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyd and I'll be taking you through the next few minutes into the regularly scheduled 6 o'clock news uh, with a look at all the latest headlines. We'll talk about some great things coming up uh, in the area and we'll talk about some excellent things coming up on BCTV. Uh, that's uh, all the, the latest here as we can uh, begin, begin our show. Take a seat. Sit down with me for a moment uh, and we'll uh, talk about all the, the latest happenings. And for that, I want to start uh, with our governor, Governor Shumlin. There he is. He's right here, like an angel over my shoulder. I want to start by talking about uh, his uh, award for excellence in the arts, really the governor's award for excellence in the arts, uh, with the notables like Karen Hess, Archer Mayor, Sharon Robinson, Stephen Stearns, uh, all on the roster. Now, he was at the Latches on Monday evening to honor these folks with some humorous anecdotes. BCTV had not one but three cameras there, uh, led by BCTV content manager Jeff Mastrioni and longtime BCTV volunteer Frederick Noyes. Uh, that program will show coming up soon on BCTV and on our video on demand. In the meantime, here's a little taste of uh, what it looked like. Let's take a look. Uh, right here, as we can uh, get back to the uh, the shot here, there's uh, our good friend Mr. Shimlin and there we Archer go. Mayor. When I was in the Senate 15 years ago, I got a call from Archer. Archer said, I'm writing as Joe Gunther's going to Montpelier. I said, well, leave me out of it. <laughs> no, he didn't. All right, um, in addition, uh, Shumlin, yesterday, where's uh, my close up there. Uh, Peter Shumlin cut the ribbon at uh, the reopening that was also on Monday at the new Holton Hall, uh, which is uh, both a modern office building and a symbol of uh, the Austin School for the Deaf and their rich history. And the state contributed the $3 million needed to finish the job, hence uh, Shumlin's visit. Holton now has uh, center offices including administration, business, and admissions, uh, as well as programs such as an uh, audiology clinic the Vermont Interpreter Referral Service, and the Access Program for Deaf Adults. We've got a, uh, a clip of that, courtesy of hardworking 545 Live content specialist and often desk co-captain Joe Bushy. Uh, take a look. All of these people help this come to fruition and guide us through the entire project. All are located in this building currently without the renovations. Where else would it be? It's hard to imagine. Next, uh, we've been tracking for a while now uh, the, the story of AT&T and its struggle to win over the hearts and minds of uh, folks from the town of Newfane get their blessing for their proposed cell tower project. Now, just one week after a controversial balloon test gave residents a chance to see, or perhaps not see, how the tower would present to admirers of the Valley's Vista, Newfane could see another cell tower. Uh, with the Burlington-based Vermont Telephone Co. or VTEL announcing its plans to add a tower of their own. We'll track that story as best we can uh, in the coming weeks. In the meantime, let's take a little 545 Live rewind and look at our balloon test AT&T special here. 
uh, which included footage from, again, Joseph Bushy, my hard work and uh, colleague, when they uh, did float these giant, giant party balloons up over, and uh, also some footage from several Newfane Select Board meetings, where this has certainly been the, uh, the buzz, the talk of the town. Let's take a look. We're not unsensitive to aesthetics. The reason that this location was picked <clears throat> is because we need to be close enough to the people and close enough to where there's existing uh, sources of communications and power so that we can hit as many people as possible. We're willing to consider other locations um, at this meeting from either the select board or other uh, people in the town of where they'd like to see it from. But for the moment, our focus is going to be from the trailhead of the Newfane Town Forest as well as from Laura's Lookout, which is you know, one of the highest points uh, along the trail. Several alternatives have been suggested that are miles and miles away. So that might be a great spot because there's nobody there, but it's not going to accomplish what AT&T is trying to do, which is trying to provide service in a particular area. All those uh, new Fane Select Board meetings are available at brattlebrotv.org where uh, we have video on demand for all local programming. Uh, and the great thing about video on demand is you can potentially, I'm not saying you would want to, but you could skip ahead uh, to specific items, follow, track that cell phone story. Of course, the B in BCTV stands for Brattlebro, but there's actually seven other towns in the surrounding community that BCTV serves, gets content from, and projects content back out to, including uh, Vernon, Guilford, Dummerston, Putney, Newfane, Jamaica, Townsend, and uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody as I always do, but we've got uh, municipal meetings from every one of those towns, courtesy of our latest hire, Rich Melanson, BCTV's uh, field production manager. He's been out uh, getting uh, a select board meeting from every single town, uh, including Dummerston, where we uh, track to for our next story. The town of Dummerston is running out of places to bury their bodies. Or, uh, so was the discussion last night as members of the select board entertained a report from the town's cemetery committee about the lack of vacancies in the town's three graveyards, something that's prompted one local resident to donate additional land to the cause and force uh, committee members to improvise when it comes to how space is allotted. And uh, we've got that clip as well. We're going to have to sit down and decide instead of buying a 4x10 like we're selling or an 8x10 we're selling now for two plots, you could make them even smaller. You can make them even smaller uh, if, if uh, you, you needed. That's the story there. Again, uh, you can find that meeting at brattlebrotv.org where each town uh, has their own playlist. All right, we'll move on and talk about uh, Vermont's tenured Senator Patrick Leahy. And for that, uh, let's not just go back to the close-up, but let's go back, as I like to call it, into the newsroom. And uh, that's uh, differentiated, I suppose, by uh, this. That's right, the graphic over the shoulder. All right. After passing the uh, VAWA bill, uh, that's the Violence Against Women Act bill we've been tracking for some time because of its uh, connection to Senator Patrick Leahy, one of its co-sponsors. Uh, after the VAWA bill was sent to the Senate uh, in April, where a rare majority, super majority of uh, 68 senators, including every female senator, uh, got, the, got the bill through, the House has now stopped it uh, in its tracks. According to the House, some victims aren't legitimate enough. They're uh, concerned with the phrasing of how uh, victims are specified. Now we're going to track this uh, story um, as, uh, as best we can, coming up with more video from Senator Patrick Leahy, but here's the latest post from him. We try to keep this as a nonpartisan, even beyond bipartisan, a nonpartisan bill because certainly my experience has been that the violence occurs not because you're a Republican or a Democrat or an independent violence against women occurs in all strata, in all categories. Senator Sanders, all one word, is, of course, uh, Bernie's YouTube channel that we hype all the time, VT Governor. Uh, is Shumlin's channel, but that one, Senator Patrick Leahy, all one word, has some gorgeous HD video from the Senate floor in Washington, D.C., where you can keep abreast of uh, all Vermont's tenured Senator Patrick Leahy's comments. All right, uh, a few things to move on and talk about before we wrap up for the day, uh, including a little promotion. Uh, for BUHS TV, the high school's morning news advisory program. Now I'll be joined at the desk uh, by their uh, host, uh, Adam Manley. He's going to be joining the, the BCTV crew and uh, be in next week to uh, get on camera and read off some of the stories. You can catch the high school's broadcast at 10.15 a.m. 
uh, on mornings following a broadcast uh, of ours. So you can see them Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday on BC TV at 10.15 a.m. Two clicks up the dial on our government and education sister channel, Channel 10, uh, and catch uh, all the latest, which includes their high-tech green screened weather report. And uh, that's where we'll take this next. Let's see what's coming up for the weekend's weather. Saturday, high of 35, low of 26. <laughs> Sunday, high of 35, low of 30. Monday, right now. <laughs> uh, high of 35, low of 31. 60% chance of snow, 80% humidity, winds at 5 miles per hour, and sunrise at 7.16 a.m. There you go, the latest from the high school. Again, 10.15 a.m. Uh, on BCTV Channel 10 is where you can check out uh, all their broadcasts, which include all uh, the high school's announcements, uh, community news, and uh, some other features, including my favorite uh, This Day in History look back. All right, uh, speaking of uh, good things coming up on TV, I want to take a little time to shamelessly promote what's coming up on our own channels, and subsequently uh, we'll go on our video on demand, as does all local programming and streaming for both Channel 8 and 10. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's talk about what's new on BCTV, including uh, the uh, American Legion post fire the ceremony. The place the American Legion cap on the rifles in remembrance of, the, of all our comrades. Service to our country in the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, or Coast Guard of the United States. That was their uh, ceremony last week for fallen comrades. In addition, uh, longtime BCTV volunteer Frederick Noyes has been uh, out on the streets uh, to get footage of building a better Brattle Bros every day is a holiday campaign, and he's got some very fun videos up. Let's check it out. Again, just a, a few of the things coming up here on BC TV that you can check out in the coming week and on our video on demand at brattlerowtv.org. Uh-oh, 5.59.13. I better uh, wrap up this chit-chat. Let's get back to uh, your weekend here. Go out, enjoy the day, enjoy uh, this coming Christmas season in downtown Brattleboro. Thanks to everybody that makes 5.45 Live tick the way it does, uh, including my uh, public relations manager, Blasta Papelka, who uh, is really just a get-it-together Roland manager uh, of sorts. Our content specialist, Maria Dominguez, for all the hard work she puts in getting us footage. Content uh, manager, Jeff Mastrioni, for putting together uh, everything from uh, the Latches this Monday, getting us all that footage, and everybody else that makes 545 Live worth producing by watching it, you folks out there. All right, night, everybody. All right, uh, Thursday, high 40, low 24. <laughs> yeah. What did Miss Claus say to Santa during a storm? I have no idea. Come look at the rain, dear. Uh, <laughs> Back to the desk. Uh, Thank you, Greta and Tyler, and I have no comment for that joke. <laughs>